Devil's Fizz cannot really fight back. So that's where you have to look for Karsa to take advantage, maybe pick on Sven Skarin a lot, who has been looking pretty bad in most of these games. And I do think that Karsa has is six now. So if Rumble steps up to the wave, look for the fish, and they're going to go for the all-in. Calm Dim, there's the six from NMD as well. He gets the flash forward, damage down to half HP. They could be able to finish it. Smoke screen comes out, and they drop MMD. It's not enough mitigation from Karsa, and it looks like he will not pick up anything on the outside. That was really well done from TSM. Around bottom, there's been two control wards very often around bot, so a lot of the coverage has been bot side, whereas, as you can see on the screen, TSM's coverage oh, is Lee top. is here. Difficult gank to be put into, but Karsa hits it, end of the line, just misses. Haunter's gonna be forced to die, he takes the Q past the minion. Collateral damage misses, MMD, very low. 200 HP, tries to deny vision in the brush, but Karsa wards it. Now it's a 1v1, Sven's out. And so is Karsa. One for one, that flash, if he collapses. Equalizer, we'll this have to see. This has been something Sven has really struggled with, getting caught out on invades. This looks like he is actually gonna make it out. The burn doesn't take, oh no! This is, this is time and time again. Sven Skarin doing aggressive invades. The link's the next time. If it is, <laughs> I'm just gonna shake my head, but in kind of impressiveness rather than anything else. Mid lane. Remember, no flash here. Looks like you're gonna easily lock down here. Carso wants to try and play, and Sven Skarin may say, let's do this. Throws the Q back out. Sonic Wave. No is roaming down. There's up as well, but a lot are on the defensive side. They don't feel comfortable guarding them. So we're already in a pretty sticky situation. Hard skins up, the shield dissonance to give Biofrost a movement. Concussive blows aren't even needed. And he's gonna go ahead and stand over the wall if he can make the W. He just flashes anyways. Command protect in. Carso does not get this one on the collateral damage. Yeah, Sword Art trying to battle back on the vision, but a fight on top side. Oh, MMD doing about 200 HP to Hauntzer, but he zeroes out the rumble in the top lane. And TSM win on both. It's, felt, it's not like top lane is very far behind either. This is going to be the first do -si do between Maple and Hauntzer. He feels like he can take him, but the army needs to be beat by an army. And Hauntzer pulls three to the top lane with MMD's teleport. Looks like he may be going down here as the final rune prism locks him up. For what TSM will do across the game that can't go very late, you have to take into consideration the Elder Dragon. So many people bot lane. Oh. Haunts to make the great escape. They have a push down mid, but the minions really aren't past river here. Haunter's gonna die quite quickly, allowing Flash Wolves to recuperate and find themselves a reposition. And TSM just don't have the waves in the correct position to actually get anything. Get wave pressure onto the turret, take down a free objective. They do have control, mm -hmm. as you say around the Drake, because that is an equalizer. Oh, Biofrost gets locked up, throws up the Unbreakable, but he is broken and taken down. That is a 5-0-0 Karsa. No one else on the team has been able to pick everything up, anything up. But it is on. Almost gets the hit. Biofrost getting pushed in. They go on to the tank once again. Sven Skarin in the back line getting hit up by the curtain call. And Bjergsen's the next one. Sven Skarin trying to get between the licks of Sordar and himself. And Betty's now on the other side. They almost don't have an exit. They need to create one, but they can't find one. And Sven Skarin's low, almost going down. Command protect. The dissonance not there, so the team can chase Bjergsen. Jump the waters from Hanser. There was no teleport. It's been a long walk for him. And Turtle tries to turn it around. 3v1 goes down versus Betty. And that's three down versus is one. Turtle coming in on like a flank there, and this is what Flash Wolves wanted to do. They get the engage. Hauntzer doesn't have TP, and Parsa, if they can take down Hauntzer, this is for sure, I think, going to be a bear. Pops him over the wall, a 2v1. Now Bjergsen there, low on mana, but should be able to dance around this one with Hauntzer. Karsa down. There's a shutdown, much needed for the team. They're that still is... under enemy lines. They still have to find a way out. Jin and oh, Rise, man. fast approaching, and not much space to do. You just close your eyes, you know how, Papa Smithy. They're going in. Bjergsen gets an auto attack. Hauntzer's been able to playful and trickster. One more shot. He should be good as it heats up. The Realm Warp forward as the Deadly Flourish misses. And Hauntzer looks like he's able to squirm out of this one, but you can't say it too soon. One shot from Betty is all it takes. And Betty was under no pressure, about 30 seconds. and delaying, but now it's Flash was on the bear with those res timers. Right back into it. This is the control you look for a team. If Sven comes in, do they stop and kill or do they continue? 2,500 held on Baron. Curtain call. Stopping Biofrost and Turtle towards the backside. A piercing arrow and Sven to be over the wall. Chain of corruption to lock down the team. It's going to be hit by Karsa. And now Sven's in the middle. Sven goes down. And Turtle and Biofrost can't do much. And those were the sort of Barons that Flash was in weather the storm. They continue to take hits here, possibly again. The team starts to close in on Sven Skarin and Hauntzer. 
Zanya's in. Hanser wants, or Svenskeren wants to kick back. Glacial Fisher comes out. Sword Art now back with a shockwave. A lot of balls on the back here. here. And Maple now coming in. Turtles in his face. And Turtles gonna be taking damage. Flash over the walls now. Biofrost is that target. Hit down goes Biofrost. Svenskeren now in the eyes of Karsa. It's gonna be Maple picking up the kill though. Bjergsen's trying to hide in the brush. Betty. Deny the vision, but a triple kill from Betty as he gets the damage in. And they still have the bear buff. They're going to push down mid here. This should be an inhibitor at least. We'll see if Wild Turtle can get out, but it looks like he's going to be dead too. And these res timers are so long. Yeah, it's a really nice flank from Maple. It's, this is a bit comedic over here. Yeah, just walk it around. Let's just call it delaying tactics there when it comes to respawns. But Vegas Nexus turret, 35 minutes in, and Biofrost gets melted. 7 1 and 7. Karsa as they look to the Nexus. The team's on it. This is going to be it. 17 to 9. Flash Wolves take down Team Solo Mid. Team Solo Mid had a massive advantage in the early to mid game. The Fizz should have been peerless. Trinity Force finished before you could really blink and enter this game. But subsequent to that, they really took their fit off the accelerator. First, they put too many resources around the Fizz when he already had an inherent advantage. Ignite Fizz with Trinity Force. And then when the Fizz started to get hunted down by multiple members of Flash Wars, they were never trading up. They were going even at best and often trading down. And when you have an advantage in the early to mid game and trade down. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button.